Hi, I'm Rayburn Johnson for Sample Library Review, and today I'm checking out Nordic Cello by Have Audio. Nordic Cello is the follow-up library to Have Audio's Nordisk Contrabass. With Nordic Cello, Have Audio have included multiple new features such as new effects, new macro controls, and drag-and-drop capabilities to bring a unique sound to the traditional cello. It includes 18,553 samples across multiple articulations like legato, staccato, and harmonics, among others. In addition, Nordic Cello includes five playable textures. Nordic Cello requires the full version of Contact 6.5.2 or above. Some of you might be familiar already with have Audio's Nordisk Contra Bass, which has been out for a while now and has been rather popular. Nordic Cello is the follow-up to that and has actually kind of begun a series of Nordic instruments for Have Audio. The interface has been changed a little bit. There's some new additions like new effects. There's macro controls. We're going to dive right in and listen to some of the articulations and then have a look at the engine. So you'll see over here is where your articulations are. Um, you can see that there's several here, but in addition to what you see here, there are actually key switches for several of these articulations that give you different variations on that articulation. So let's just go ahead and start out with the legato. Let's actually play with this ice control a little bit. This is a unique control. I love, I love what it actually does uh, graphically. You can see that when it's completely dry, I'll play it now as, as a dry instrument and let you hear that. Let's turn this up. Let's go all the way. really unique kind of adds a I don't know it's a combination of reverb and delay and I don't know what all's in there but it sounds really good you do have a separate reverb and delay control here so you know those are in addition so I'm not exactly sure what's going on under the hood here but it's really really good um and you can also see you have two signals here you have a mic uh, just a regular mic signal and then a di signal and you can also reverse those so let's go ahead and reverse that and see what it sounds like and we're back kind of in the center position on the ice control. We're only half frozen over. <laughs> So 
you can see the difference there is, you know, the attack is, is definitely delayed on the regular sample. And then when you reverse it, you get an immediate attack. So just to give you an example, here's without the reverse and with it. Actually, I think I got that backwards. The attack is quicker on the non-reversed. You reverse it and the attack's slower, which could really work to your advantage. So hmm. interesting. I'm not seeing, I'm seeing more of a difference in the attack in the dynamics I use to actually play. So hmm. Maybe that's only on certain articulations. Let's dive deeper and find out. Let's go ahead and play a little bit with the dynamics control as well. I'm going to use the mod wheel just to give you an idea of how that responds. Let's jump over to the Harmony of the North. And you can see this is where we actually start getting into some key switches. So we'll actually have some different sounds depending on the key switch. So let's start with the first one. Hmm. That's very quiet. Okay, let's go to the next one. Yeah, you can hear those harmonics. I think that's why we've, got, we've gotten so quiet there. And let's go to the next set. And the next set. And the next set. Interesting. Hmm. Let's go to staccato. And you can see again, you've got multiple variations of staccato. So let's play with that a little bit. And the next one. And the next one. And the next. And finally, all right, let's move along to the pizzicato. And the next variety. And the next one.
interesting. One thing I will say about that is I've noticed there's quite a bit of volume difference, and I'm not exactly sure why. There's a pretty good amount of volume difference if you go from, for instance, legato, and then you move over to something like the pizzicato, It's a pretty good volume difference. So something just to keep in mind. It's not, obviously, it's not something you can't adjust, but just something to keep in mind. All right, let's go down to the, tre uh, the tremolos. and sliding fourths. And let's move along to sliding down. There's multiple variations of that, for instance. And we can go to the next one. And the next. So that's like a that's like a major fifth, it sounds like. maybe a major third and then yeah that sounds like the minor third so i really like those i i am i'm not exactly sure why there's such a large volume gap between something like the legato and the others i might be missing something so forgive me if i am but um, there does seem to seem to be a pretty wide volume gap between some of the articulations. Finally, we have the mixed articulations. So we have the legato. And then the staccato. Pizzicato. All right, so that's just a good preview of the articulations themselves, but let's play with the engine a little bit and see what we can come up with. Um, you also do have, I should show you, you've got these textures, which just to give you some examples here, we're gonna do these body hits and we're gonna hold them down. It takes a moment for them to kick in, but really, really nice textures. Let's listen to that and see what we have. So those are almost immediate, but then some other ones, for instance, bow textures, let's listen to those. See, that's really cool. Now, if we turn that ice up, I mean, that, that sounds really nice. Let's go even harder. See, that's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Very, very nice. And let's go to the low engines and see what we have. Interesting. Let's try that with the ice. Really, really cool. 
cool sound. And let's try the rises. And let's turn the ice on on that. Very, very cool. And the bouncing. Yeah, really interesting sounds. And, you know, you can, the, the neat thing is, you can play with the sound design engine to really kind of bring out some unique textures here. So for instance, um, you know, you've got obviously your two mics, your two different mics, you've got a completely separate reverb here from what you're doing with your ice. Again, I'm not sure what's going on under the hood with the ice, but I really like it, but you can choose from a wide variety. You can't even see them all. They fall off the screen here, but there's a wide variety of creative reverbs, classic reverbs, just some really interesting things going on. You've got your delay, your feedback. This time warp is an interesting concept. It's basically being used to speed up or slow down certain articulations. It doesn't work on all of the articulations. I think it's more affecting the textures. So let's actually try that with the body hits, for instance, and see if I'm indeed correct about that. So with it set at 100%, and if I turn it up, Okay, that one's not affected. Let's try a different one. Maybe rises. Yeah, you can hear there. Or if you want to go really slow, so this could be really cool. Let's go to about 50% and turn the ice up. So you see, you can get some really interesting sounds with that time warp. Um, it can really stretch the samples to make them something completely unique. Really, really cool. I like that a lot. Let's try that with the bouncing, for instance. Let's speed that up really quick. Or let's slow it down tremendously. Yeah, really interesting textures, just totally different. Now you also have your host your host tempo, so you can time warp that in conjunction with your DAW, which is really cool. And then there's a separate effects page with, uh, you know, you can you can control all of these effects. There's multiple effects here. You can see six different things going on from EQ to saturation, compression, um, even a Leslie here. The macro controls are essentially assignable to the different effects here so that you can affect those in real time. Uh, you can also, let's stay on the effects page for a second. You can also see that you have drag and drop capability for your own samples or loops. So you can process those through the engine, which I can imagine some really cool things could happen with your own samples with this ice control. Uh, that has some really cool stuff going on under the hood. And also you have an arpeggiator over here. So let's go, let's try some staccato ar articulation here, a staccato articulation. And let's turn on the arpeggiator and let's just do something random. And let's just start with what we've got here and see, let's turn it down. Maybe, I don't know, let's go maybe, well, we can keep it at 16 steps, but let's take the rate to an eighth and see what we get. If we play those up, can really add some interesting sound design things going on. Let's add the octave. Let's take that up one octave. And let's go back to the 16th. Yeah, 
are really, really cool. You can just get some interesting sound design things going on. Let's try one of the other kinds of staccato and see what we get. See, that's, that gets really fun with an articulation like that. You can do some really cool stuff. Let's try another one. And let's go to the pizzicato. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Really like that arpeggiator. Let's let's actually just add some ice on there and see what we get. So yeah, you can see there's just a number of things going on here. You've got multiple articulations. In some instances, you've got multiple shades of that articulation within these, especially within things like staccato and pizzicato. Um, even within the sliding articulations, you've got the really cool ice control, which not only is, does it sound good, but gosh, that graphic is super cool. Um, as a guy who is a fan of winter, and I know I'm one of the weird ones, this is just really cool. Thanks for checking out Nordic Cello with me today. So what do you think? Is this an instrument you would use in your own tracks or scoring work? Comment below and let us know your thoughts. Make sure to like the video and share it with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. Be sure to check out samplelibraryreview.com for more news and reviews and to stay in the know about weekly sales via our weekly deal compressor.